Okay, so here we are and we're heading towards the new castle. Once I um, fin started a new level and I thought, oh, maybe I should have another go at a castle, make it a bit better than last time. So here you see it. We're going down the road. There's the gate and the drawbridge and the portcullis. And I should say that Finn and his best friend Zubby helped me build this. And those stalls down here that are like a little marketplace in there. Uh, that's a bakery. Um, Zub built that. And as you can see, I've got those little bits on the corner, these battlements on the corner, so my archers and whatnot can reach out over the side of the castle and attack anybody who's trying to climb up. Going around here, obviously, we've got stables and so forth, or really more an area for keeping the horses in. Got that reasonably close to the gate, but not too close. Um, staircases up to those battlement areas. Um, going back around here, and there's a little armoury there, somewhere, a swordsmith. Uh, going around the corner here, you can see that we have got an area for the pigs. Uh, and again, I'm just zooming over that. And then shortly, I'm going to turn back so that we can actually see... Oh, there's another stall. Now, I can't actually remember what this stall is. But anyhow, we've got a little bit of life in, in the castle. And we've got these narrow doorways. Now, it's important that they're narrow so that if anybody does breach the outer wall, we've got a narrow point to defend. We don't want them flooding in in great numbers. So we go around here, and I've got a little pond, so we've got a water supply. Uh, and what we've got up ahead are some barracks for people to sleep in. Fairly basic accommodation, but that's what you'd expect in a castle in this period. It certainly wasn't any great luxury for most people. Even it has to be said the, the lord or the king. Uh, and then we have a chapel. And this is similar to what we had in the other castle, but a little bit bigger and better quality. So there you go. So there's our chapel. And again, thanks to Finn and Zub for that. So, we're zooming around here, going back over the, the little bridge over the pond. That was actually one of my efforts. I'd probably did about half of the work on this. I did get my little Minecraft master builders to do quite a lot of this for me. Uh, so we're going around here and we're going into the Great Hall. Now the Great Hall is a bit greater. We've got banners and a chandelier and a high table and a low table. You'd have the important people up there on the high table. And we go up the stairs past another villager to the throne room. And this is where, you know, the throne's probably a bit more elaborate than it would have been in medieval times. But that's where you'd go and see the king or the lord. And there's the king or lord's sleeping chamber. Uh, just, it wouldn't have been especially grand. Um, and then we go upstairs to the keep where we've got the really valuable stuff kept. Probably a few more books in here than you would have really had, but that's okay. Um, and treasure chests and so forth. So this is kind of the point of last defence. And then you go up to the roof, where you would also defend the castle from. So there's multiple levels. You know, you would defend the outer wall first, but if you had to, you'd fall back to the second wall, and finally you'd fall back to the keep. And as you can see from above, we've got, um, we've got some water, we've got some livestock going on in there. You're about to see that we've got a moat all the way around to make it harder for people to attack, harder for them to put ladders up and so forth and so that is my medieval castle so you know showing a few aspects it's not up on a hill which is probably a bit of a shortcoming but i hope that your castle is at least as good as this if not a little bit better so i look forward to seeing it